Look, I I'm just gonna check something real quick. Is there a sprint? Okay, so left bumper is sprint, and it is blocked off by that railing. Got it. Ooh, ooh, you see? This is why you check stuff. The Wild Magic by Anthony Bourdain. No, so by S. Dutton. An eye opening, an eye opener, uh, clears up any historical misconceptions, inspirational work, a fascinating insight in the wild magic history modern of modern paganism. Dutton takes on the introductory tour of the rich and the complex history of modern paganism. He reflects on its origins and perse persecution during early Christianity through its evolution, acceptance, and growing popularity in the open world today. Cool. Oh, I can open it. Good. Ooh, what just happened? I found a secret. Secret found. A book titled The Wild Magic, A History of the Modern Paganism Inside the Pages, and I guess the moon symbol. That is the inside the book are the pages on sacred objects, effigies, and puppets. So I suppose I'll be looking for something with the moon object in it. Inner rest. Okay, history of paganism. Um, so I'm just going to read the second page here. So paganism is an electic, is eclectic. <laughs> As a variety of sacral objects demonstrates, their uses are passed down through tradition and esoteric knowledge. Some pagans keep a book of shadows, a record of how the objects should be used. Figure 2, the moon is often used as a focus for cyclical ceremonies and is often regarded as feminine in aspect associated with intuition and secrets. The tools, sacred objects are tools. Okay, pretty much got it. We're looking for this. Cyclical in nature, probably involving us, how we repeat the cycle, because we are the same actors of that family. So yeah, got it. Look for the damn moon thing. Um, alrighty. Also, they couldn't just Can't meet us? Driver. Just taking off like that and ditching us? Maybe you didn't realize. Could just be in shock. We're his responsibility, his passengers. He can't just stroll off. Oh yeah, I do want to check, um, yeah, to move the light source. I do want to check everybody's relations to each other. She was abrasive in the first. Team Taylor, what is this? Taylor agreed with John's plan to head into town. Okay, so I do want to have a goal, and the goal is to not just play this, um, recklessly, but maybe I want to get everybody alive. Maybe I want to keep everybody alive. Uh, there was a relationship bar, right? Like, how do I tell people's relationships? Here we are. Uh, so the negative was patronize John. Okay, cool. Let's just do our best to keep everybody alive, even if um, it feels a little uh, forced. Then again, I don't even know what that means. Like, what does it mean to keep everybody alive? Right? Let's see. Inspect. Inspect. Someone went all the way up here just to graffiti that. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Okay, cool. It's getting like, what? Why? Why should I know it? Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. Okay, cool. So you're just not going to explain what it is? No, come on, tell me. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books, unlike some. Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. Well, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. <laughs> what was that just now? Yeah, I'm a professional academic where I just read everything and know everything and explained nothing. It is a good point, though. When without signal, your smartphone is just a phone. And it's only as smart as its user. Good to see you two. We finally made it. Everything okay? We're both good, but this gate is chained. We can't get through. Now what do we do? Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! That's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. Wait, that broke the chain? <laughs> like how they didn't show it. <laughs> wait, wait, how did that break the, the chain? Out. 
Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Uh, say nothing. You gotta listen. Bad things happened here. A long time ago. Which you are dying to tell us all about. I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Hey. Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. Oh. What did she say about me? Ooh. You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try oh. doing it yourself sometime, dear. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. <laughs> Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time. Okay, pause. What? Exposed Angel as a hypocrite for attacking Taylor. Uh, Taylor said Daniel is not her boyfriend. Um, well, I didn't know the relationship going in. Well, apparently they're kind of through. Maybe. We'll see. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan? Heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. Uh, okay. Well, maybe that would have gone better if I wasn't so negative to him, but you know what? Why not? How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Wait, what? Come so she just us. opted to Can leave? Me? I'm not going anywhere with you. Interesting. away from you uh-huh so you thought better of going it alone then why'd you come back i don't get it it doesn't make any sense lost in a world of her own what the hell are you playing at you going or not hey wait what are you doing taylor look out what the what's going on with you why do you keep coming back i'm not coming back I walked straight out every time. It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. <laughs> so many interesting dialogue choices here. Like, why the sudden abrasion to the idea of following this guy? You were all on board anyway. Also, all of you opted to sign a waiver to go with this professor on a field trip? I would never. Sounds like a total stickler. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying. We are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down. Breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. No, this is this is all your fault. Create a writing teacher in my ass. You can't understand this. Don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, <laughs> the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please find me. Please stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. 
someone else thinks they can do a better job, step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Right now. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. So the radio on the bus it doesn't work either? It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like a plan? You Being me? lured by the fog? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Also, my bad on the relationship there, folks. I didn't mean to, to, to ruin your relationship there. Also, he is your creative writing professor? Oh my god, his rating on Rate My Professor must be atrocious. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. Also, the extra credit isn't worth it. Ooh, black cat. Where I'm from, black cats crossing the street is a great omen. Okay, I thought something would happen if you walked back. Apparently nothing. Got it. I don't like the look of that place at all. Seriously, like if we were to really think about it, if the fog is pushing you somewhere, that doesn't typically mean safety. It typically means trap. I still can't believe that's your creative writing professor. He sounds like a total tool. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Look, that was my fault. Our bus gets totaled, we that get was lost the in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? Okay, uh, reassuring, lighten up, concerned. Uh, God, I already screwed up this relationship anyway. Concerned? We don't need a label, do we? Come on. So what exactly are we then? I don't know what we are yet. This is all my fault. Blame it on me. I'm not ready to go public about us yet. I will be soon, I promise. Anything I can do to help convince you I'm the right guy? Blame Jan. This is all Jan's fault. I need to know 100% I can rely on you. That you'll never let me down. Like Jan did. We should catch up with the others. We standing here all night, or we going inside? <laughs> the cat just throw that? Seriously though, I had so many awesome creative writing professors, none of which were like this guy. I am curious what kind of archetype he's like based off of, or in the writing room, how did they conjure up this character? Would I would be interested in knowing those kind of details. Maybe they just pulled from a hat and drew a piece of shit. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me. But we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. 
You mean you're trapped uh, here too? Sorry for busting in like this. Mm, uh, the bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. Plokey. I'm Vince. Not really. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of... Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. I'm gonna check this. Sorry, folks. Okay, so Andrew and Taylor, both negative experiences there. Uh, what was the other stuff that, w that keeps popping up? Like, other people have changed in some way? So he's overbearing, dismissive, irritable, curious. Okay, I'm using John now. I think I I've moved over to John. Is That's why it's gonna be a, a different set of stuff. All right, back to the story. Sorry about that. It's right there if you change your mind. Yeah, sure. Why not? Live a little. I could definitely use one. <sighs> you shouldn't be drinking right now. Uh-oh. I don't think it's a good idea. I'm okay. Drinking's all I got left. Why are you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. Hmm. Let's say this. What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town. And that fog? Life moves on, you know. But we don't all go with it. There a phone in here? We can use a way of contacting the outside world. There's a phone. But it's been dead for years. You know, maybe there's still one working in town. What is this guy's problem? There's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. Uh, he's in a world of his own. An old darts board. I was pretty good back in the day. Stay. Play a little. No problem. I'm going to take a look around. I wonder if a way to save these characters is to prevent them from falling into their vices of who they were in the previous life. Like Just a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double. Or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. But um, like I was saying, like, I wonder if avoiding their vices would be a good way, or is probably one way to try to save them. Like me drinking there was a mistake if I wanted to keep this person alive. Which, you know, I don't know. Anyways, fire. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Ah, I see. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. They don't play darts in the Olympics. Yeah, they should. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. He's like, let it be known the entire bar. I am the best at this dart game. Taylor was met at Angela. So I'm just seeing if there's more stuff here that's been unlocked. Authority figure. John accepted the offer of a drink. Interest. Okay, okay. So yeah, we will see how that pans out. Uh, turns out you can't really talk to anybody right now. But yeah, let's look around, I guess. Um, is there a way to actually go back? I kind of want to go behind the bar if I can. Ah, yes, there we are. Wow, a lot to look at. Ooh, what, did, what just happened? Mm. Meeting votes for disincorporation. I didn't remember what happened here. All the uh, factories closed down. Okay. Uh, did it give me like a... Yes, okay, cool. 
a little synopsis here. So a newspaper article on the disincorporation of Little Hope following the shutdown of a factory and the reluctant mass exodus of the population. Let's check out this note here. Got a bunch of numbers. I'm gonna memorize every single one of these. Whoa. This place has some great history. A cult flyer. Okay, cool. Uh, Rev Carson will advise parents on signs to watch for and how these things are the left-hand path to delinquency and a satanism. Now, what does the uh, secret, how does the secret surmise it? Uh, an old flyer from 1970 advertises a talk on the occult given the Reverend Carson who advised her parents about warning signs. Cool, Reverend Carson might be a character worth noting. We're not going to leave just yet. I think that's leading to the door. June 6, 1917. I can't believe it. These guys could be relatives. Wait, what? <laughs> Fun Photoshop, by the way. His head's all bigger than his body like by a lot um okay so oh that's right i do remember him sorry it was just because the accent was throwing me i think he had like a, a, a brooklyn accent uh last game so in man of madon the boyfriend here is actually the actor for that i knew he looked familiar he played a soldier and then he died like in the prologue spoiler alert um, okay, so that means to leave and exit. Good, good. I'm glad it tells me that. I would have accidentally clicked it just because, you know, I click shiny things. Let's check in the back here. We got a cell phone. Cell phone? <laughs> yes, that's what I call a cell phone. No, we got a pay phone. Oh, God. A rotary. Uh, is it not working? Fuck. Okay. Well, the cell phone doesn't work. <laughs> yes, I'm... Is that how far I am in, in the future where I confuse every phone is just a cellular phone? All right, so I guess we've explored everything. Is there a way to jump above the counter to get to the back of the bar? Oh, we can talk. We can talk finally. Okay, good. Good. <clears throat> Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Oh, booze gone in my head. Okay, maybe I make this man a little more approachable. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Lay off the drink. Say nothing. What happens? Little hope is over. Gone now. Only thing here now is ghosts from the past. Huh. Search the bar. Continue toward town. Ooh, compassionate went up. Character growth. Uh, is there's no real way to see that kind of status, is there? Only just that it went up. But there's no, like, compassion bar or anything like that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Can I cross over to the bar? I want to get to the other side. Now, uh, there's, the, there's the pay phone. A.K.A. the wall cell phone. Okay, let's talk to the um, group over here. See what they're all about. None of y'all want to talk? None of y'all want to say anything? So we're just going to leave and head back into town. There's so much to say, so much to uh, parse through. I guess not. I guess there's nothing here. All right, let's just head out then. Let's get out of here. Nobody wants to say nothing. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did... You hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. You really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. I'm pretty sure I doomed this party. <laughs> Uh-oh.
It's coming from the town. Did the old fucker just lock us out? He was weird, that old guy. Sure was something off about him. Why come to Creepy Central just to get a top-up? What does that mean? Hmm. It is locked, but definitely not secure. Continue to our town, keep up with John and the others. Wait, what? Wait, could I go back? Keep up with John and the others? Oh! Oh shit! I could lose them? Oh, that's fun! Yeah, let's explore. Well, look, I actually did lose them. I mean, they're pretty. Uh, they're probably on the road. But uh, yeah, let's let's explore. Let's 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 put these people in more peril, shall we? So we are where? A bird's eye view of the historical town. Okay, uh, I think we're going to be crossing the bridge, maybe or not. Well, if we see a bridge walking, then we are near the museum and the memorial. If not, then we are near the church. Okay, that's that's how we'll look at it. No, it's this then. A gun? Ah, huh, cauldron. Okay, well, familiars. Huh. Well, if this is anything like Man of Medan, we gotta be careful about, you know, what we ingest and all that kind of stuff. Because while that looks horrifying, and it does look horrifying, it might just uh, be our imagination, and we might just shoot uh, someone in our group. Now, what is up with Sally? Oh, I forget her name. What is... Oh, nice. Found a thing here. Found a secret. Relatable. Absolutely relatable. 